and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today, looking at upgrades. Now, I've had my Alienware Aurora R7 computer now for about two years, and it's served me really well. But over those two years, the programs I mainly use, which is Lightroom and Premiere Pro, have all had substantial upgrades, and I was finding it was getting a little bit slower. So I decided I'll have a go at upgrades. Now I'm not going to do anything major, uh, I'm not going to change the processor, quite happy with the 8700 that's in it, but what I thought I'd do is up the RAM from the 16 gig that was originally installed to 32 gig. Now on the internet if you uh, go and search for it on YouTube and that, you'll find a lot of varying stories on the Aurora and Alienware uh, computers. Some saying that you can't put four sticks of memory in, it doesn't work. Others putting four sticks in, it's worked fine. Some saying you need exactly the same memory uh, as it's already in, some saying not. So what I've done is I've run a little program on the computer to start with, that showed me what memory was in it and it was Samsung memory. So what I've done is got some Samsung memory, exactly the same uh, serial number make and everything so it should be a good match for it. So that's the first thing I'm going to do and also because this has only got a hard drive with Optane in it, which yeah, runs pretty quick as it is, I'm not going to change the operating system over to an SSD, but I was running uh, Premiere Pro cache and my files off an external SSD. So now I'll stick a Samsung 860QV oh, one terabyte in, We'll put that in and uh, use that. So before I strip the computer down, and as you can see, I've got it all opened up here. So before I did that, I ran a few tests, um, importing RAWs into Lightroom, exporting them out as JPEGs. I've rendered uh, effects on the timeline on Premiere Pro and an export or with the, the 16 gig and the original external hard drive. So we'll put these items in and then we can see if it makes any difference. So let's have a look. So first off we'll put the uh, memory in and as you can see I've already got the two original sticks in and if I've actually read and they are actually Samsung ones. So what we're going to do is put the new memory in. It looks like they go in that way around. So drop that in. Make sure it clicks in. So that's one in. And we've got the other one in. make sure all the sticks are down. So that's all the memory in. Now I've got a lead here which we need to put in and that goes down here. I'll stick that in that one just there I think. Let's click that in. Now what you do get is these cages power lead sorted out here. I just want to make sure that that's going to sit in the right direction when it's in, so that way. Perfect. So we'll put drive in. Like so. 
will connect the power like so and we'll connect the cable that's connected in there drop this in So that's that bit in. So I'll push this bit down, lock it into place. That goes in there like so. And what we need is the outer casing on. computer all back together. So that's all the bits and bobs in, the memory's in, the hard drive's in, the SSD, panel's back on. Let's get it all built up and plug back in and see what happens. And we'll come back later. Right, let's uh, see if this boots. That's the button on. It's making noises. Let's see what happens. Oh. We've got the Alienware come up. What's it going to say? You did not hear it. I was trying to reset the memory. C continue. Let's go into BIOS. See what it tells us. And we've got system many. Memory. 32768266. Oh. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. I would think Windows is doing some sorting itself out. Oh, here we go. Yay, we've got a desktop. Right, so now we've got memory in and it's all running. We'll do the same tests I did previously with the 16 gig. So now we've got the 32 gig and the cache and that is on the internal T uh, internal SSD. So we'll do the importing the RAWs and then exporting on Lightroom and see uh, how much quicker it is, if at all. Here come the rules. I'll import and I'll hit and at the same time. And we'll wait for the previews, one to one previews to be done as well. And just looking at the numbers on the uh, memory and I don't think it will make that much difference to be honest. And we've got 202, exactly the same. So we'll try the export next. Select them all, export, full size JPEGs and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, we are using a bit more memory this time, so maybe this one will be quicker. We're going to be using about 18 gig on this one. Ooh, five seconds quicker. So in Lightroom it doesn't seem to have made a great deal of difference having that extra RAM. So next we'll try Premiere. Right, so I've got this uh, timeline in Premiere and it's got some 
effects on the timeline which I'm going to render out and we'll see if it's any quicker with the 32 gig than it is with the uh, 16 gig of before. So let's start it. So we're getting close to the end. It does seem a little bit quicker. So we got 10 minutes and 9 seconds on that. So that shaved off over 5 minutes. Very good. That certainly is a difference. So what we'll do now is we'll export the project and uh, see how much longer that takes. And we'll go File, Export Media and we're going to do it it will be YouTube 4K, Match Source, everything else is the same and what we need to do then is export it and see what we get. Three, two, one. So that's running. Yep, and we'll leave that running and see uh, what we get. So we're getting close to the end now. We'll see if it's any quicker. And that was it. So we got. 18 minutes, 22 seconds, and save myself one minute. So I carried out the last test again after Premiere Pro had its latest update which has got better hardware encoding for exporting. Uh, so I exported it again with a 32 gig and I saved myself another second. So it didn't actually make a great difference to the export times. So Looking at the initial results, is adding 16, an extra 16 gig to take you up to 32 gig worth it? In the rendering on the timeline, yes, I've saved a bit of time. Rendering out, exporting out at the end, not really made that much difference. And Lightroom, no difference whatsoever. I'll do a few more tests, uh, see if the computer seems any snappier. And then uh, give my final thoughts at the end. So having run the computer for a couple of days uh, with the 32 gigabytes uh, installed I think yeah the computer feels uh, snappier especially if you've got more than one program open uh, the program seemed to open a bit quicker uh, especially the second time round and overall yeah I think it's been an improvement um, so for what the extra 16 gig uh, actually ended up costing me yeah, I think it was worth it. Was it worth it for Lightroom and Premiere? No. If that's the only reason you want to upgrade from 16 gig, I don't think it's worth it. Um, on all the testing I've done, yes, it uses just over 16 gig, but it doesn't make a huge difference to render times, import, export, or anything like that. Um, but if you just want to up the speed of your uh, computer, I think it's a... a, a yeah, a reasonable upgrade. So I'm quite happy with that. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, hit that bell button. Till next time, see you later.